Hey guys, and on today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at your garage door opener and how to connect it with your smartphone. So first of all, we need an app. So go into your app store, and then from there, just go into search and look for this app. So you're gonna type in MyQ. From here, never download the very first thing that you see, but scroll down. You're gonna see this. And this one's the one that you guys want. So right now we're just gonna download it. Once you download it, just open the app up. It's gonna look like so. Make sure to allow it, allow. Tap on I have read. And there we go. So this is the very first thing that you should do, okay? Then we go into our garage door and I'll teach you. So right now what you guys have to do is register. Most likely you don't have an account, so don't log in, but register. You're most likely, if you're watching this, you're brand new to it. So let's go in and register. And yes, there's different options. So you guys have Amazon, Apple, Google. You guys can do that. Or you can continue with email. That's your last option. I always like to continue with email, not connect everything up like that. So I'm gonna go on and continue with email. From here, just select your country. It can be any of this list right here. Then once you do that, put in your zip code. So that's postal code for Canada, for example. Then tap on the left hand side. You guys will see this little box. And then and only then will you be able to tap right here on the bottom for that arrow. So tap on that arrow. All right, then it's gonna ask you for your name. So first name, last name, just fill that up. All right, so once you put in your name, just go on and tap on that arrow on the bottom again. Once you do that, it's gonna ask for your email. So just put in your email. Then it's time to create a password. So just put in a strong password, make sure it has a cap, make sure it has a number in it. Um, symbols are usually good, makes it really strong. And it has to be at least eight characters, right? Once it says valid password, you guys can press on done. And then on the bottom, you guys should see that arrow, press on the arrow. All right, from here, you should see this screen and it will send you a code to your email. So I'm gonna show you how that code looks like. And by the way, check your junk mail because it might've gone to your junk mail as well. All right, so here is how the email kind of looks like. And here's the code. I just scroll down and kind of zoomed in so you guys can see it. That's the code for me. It's not gonna work for you guys and it will expire. So just copy and paste it. So once you fill up the code, same thing, arrow, then you guys are gonna see this, email verified, tap on that arrow again. And now you guys can actually log in. Well, you actually are logged in. So right now it's gonna say, I'll allow my queue to track. Yes, continue on. And you guys have to allow it because that's how this works. So we're setting it this up with a garage door opener. You guys will see that there's different things here. So it's not just for that. There's smart locks and so on. So make sure to take a look at all this stuff. You guys can also add a new device by scanning QR code. That's good to know because if you guys notice, um, on a lot of your garage doors, there's gonna be a QR code that usually takes you to this app. No, it's not really for this. But anyways, right now, there's also commercial door and gate openers down here below, that's your last option. But right now we're gonna do this with a garage door. So we're gonna tap there, garage door. And then from here, you guys are gonna see this. Most likely what you guys have is a ceiling installed, but some of you even have a ceiling installed, but with um, a camera in it. And those are the really cool ones. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna select the second one. It is ceiling, ceiling installed anyway, so it's on top. There's a wall installed as well, so that's gonna be on the side of your doors. That's usually for larger doors. Some people get it as well for their houses too. They're um, better for space. Uh, but anyways, right now we're gonna go on and select the second one, so you guys can see how the camera's also uh, factored into this. So right now you guys are gonna see this. What you need? Well, you have to go to your garage and make sure you guys have enough of a Wi-Fi signal on your phone. So you guys can see that if it has enough Wi-Fi signal, it should be good enough for your garage door itself. Your Bluetooth should be turned on. So make sure you're not in airplane mode or low power mode as well. Make sure that's not on. Um, make sure you know your Wi-Fi password. That's very important. Make sure you guys have access or so go down there in your garage. Make sure you guys have access. So just tap on these squares here and then just check on I'm ready. Once you do that, choose whichever one you guys have on your wall, okay? It could be any one of these. So whatever looks like the one that you guys have. And if you don't see your wall controller here, you guys can tap down here below, but most likely you will see it out of one, out of these four options, it should be one of these. So it looks like one of those. So for example, mine looks like the second one on the top. So I'm gonna tap there. 
then from here just lift up the top it's very easy it's not supposed to be sticky or anything just literally lift it up and then there's the learning button there all you guys have to do is just press and release the learn button once you do that it should beep and there should be a light there as well and then going to next so again it should have beeped um from there just go into next and it's gonna search so right now we can tap on it so it, it found it so we can go on and tap on it it's gonna connect so just let it be make sure you're close to it because if you're not you can lose that wi-fi that bluetooth connection so in this case i'm a little bit farther off so i'm gonna go a little closer and then try again so again i'm just gonna tap here and then it's gonna search right now i can tap on pair and here we go so open up the camera so right now all you guys have to do is just at the bottom of your opener you're gonna find a notch so pull it down to release the camera and remove the protective film from the lens. Most of you already did this. Again, you have to take out the protective thing, uh, that film, just because it heats up and your your um, image might distort a little bit if you don't. So keep in mind that I am gonna show you all of this later on. Once we're kind of done with the setup, I'm gonna show you visually how that looks like on your motor. But right now, we're just gonna do the setup throughout your app. If you do get a message like this, Bluetooth disconnected, again, move closer. It's something I have to do. All right, so at this point, you're basically all done. You guys just have to put in your password for your Wi-Fi. You heard a series of beeps from down there your garage door then you just have to accept all cookies then from here you do not need to do this a subscription you guys can if you want to i'm not because <laughs> i just don't like these not even a basic plan so and you don't need to just tap on the x and there you go you're all done so just finish it's gonna give you a 30 day trial maybe later i'm not gonna take it up you don't need to unless you guys really want to and now this is for Prime members. Um, I just don't trust people anyways, although I am a Prime member. So you can definitely go on and just tap on I'm a Prime member, connect it up that way. And you guys can do this later on if you change your minds. However, I have some stuff in my garage that I just don't trust anybody else. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap on that X on the top right hand side. And I'm going to decline that secure package. It's okay. So I want to continue on. I'm just going to tap on OK, and we are all done. So right now it's ready. Create your first motion event. Go to history. And there we go. So at this point, it's actually OK that there's no video events because you guys just did this. You guys just created this. Uh, there's also a tab right here in the middle that says access. Technically, again, there shouldn't be anything. Activity, there shouldn't be anything. But this is where you guys would go. You guys can refresh it at any point in time. Now, I'm just gonna take you through the app really quick, although you're basically done. So if you go into home, you guys can tap to live stream. Uh, on the top left-hand side, you guys will also see AC. Well, that's for me. You guys could be JP or whatever. You guys can tap there for more options. You guys will see some customization there. And you guys will notice on the bottom, it's gonna say garage door. It says closed for five minutes. That's perfect. So if you tap on that icon, you will notice that there's a lot more stuff that you guys can do here. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, you guys can also start the firmware update. You guys should do that for sure. And there's a lot more options down here below. Just make sure to do this while you're close to your garage door until you guys set up everything, then you're good. It's, it should be connected to your Wi-Fi. You, should, you guys should be just fine. All right, so during the install, we took a look at this. So this you just lift up and there's the learning button that would flicker that light right there and you would hear a sound the sound almost sounds like it's coming out of here it's actually coming from your garage door opener so here is the garage door opener and like i mentioned see this part that would just flip down and that's your camera and right now i actually have it updating that's the first thing you guys want to do once you are basically done with the setup just update it that way it's going to work properly but anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.